Today, we're going to go over how to properly load a grease gun. First, take the gun in your hands and rotate the barrel counterclockwise to unscrew it from the head. Then, put the head down and we'll get back to that later. Next, you're going to pull the follower rod all the way back and make sure that it's securely snug so that the follower and plunger are all the way back into the barrel. Next is the grease cartridge. Here's the plastic side and here's the cap side. You want to always make sure that you're storing your grease cartridge cap size down so that gravity does not create air bubbles. Next, we take the cap off, put that open side into the barrel, and make sure it's securely fit down there. Go ahead and pop the top, and sometimes you'll have grease onto the cap, and you want to make sure you get that into the barrel. Next, you want to screw the barrel back onto the head of the grease gun. Make sure that the threading is correct because you don't want to cross thread. You want to ensure it's securely fit and then move it back about half a turn so you can let out air. Here is the air bleeder valve that you'll be pushing while you're letting the follower rod go back into the gun. Go ahead and engage the follower rod so that it starts moving back up into the barrel while pushing the air bleeder valve. Sometimes you'll have to push the T-handle and give it a little bit of a spin so that it ensures pushing all the way through. Now that it's all the way through, you want to tighten the barrel all the way. Go ahead and take your protective cap off. Start giving it a few pumps. And once it's primed, you're ready to lubricate. That's how you properly load a grease gun.